Hey folks, welcome to my channel. I'm Double Art Angel and this is the fourth tutorial and also Happy Valentine's Day. So, in this video, we're gonna go through brushes, see how we can make the workflow go better. Photoshop uses brushes and there are these main brushes that are from the beginning in the program, but you can also import more of them and customize your brushes to your needs. I have four places that I will put a link in the description down below where to get free brushes. Of course there are sites that has brushes that costs. There are also talented artists out there that sell their brushes for a package deal for example. They are super good but they aren't free. I do recommend them though because they make workflow so much more easy. But we have free brush sites and uh, I'm gonna give you four of them right from the back of my hand. So the first one that I recommend it's Brush Easy and this is a huge gallery of brushes. You find basically almost anything there. The next site is it's all-free-downloads.com and there you find also lots of brushes that you can download in zip files and then import to Photoshop. I will show in my tutorial time-lapse how to import brushes, don't worry. The third site has quite specific brushes, there are many but still they are super high quality and it's resourceboy.com. These brushes are quite the trendy brushes if you will. You have coffee stains and bubble wrap and plastic wrap that I really enjoy using. For example, when I make rain in a photo manipulation. Plastic wrap is your go-to when you want something to look wet. Anyway, go check out that as well. The fourth site is fbrushes.com. Now, this has a search function and I have so far only tried five of their brushes. So I can't really say about how much continuity you get from them but it looks promising for now at least. Anyway, we will make artwork in this tutorial where I make the background with brushes. As much as possible with brushes. But of course it's a photo manipulation, so we will also use photos. Anyway guys, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos. And also comment down below if, you, if there is some ideas that you like me to teach you, for example. If there is something on your mind and, and you want to tell me, please put it down in the comment section. Write whatever. Of course, let's stay mannerly and polite and hopefully on topic also. Anyway, let's start this Valentine's tutorial. Let's begin. Okay, so let's begin today's tutorial. And like I said in the intro, we are gonna do uh, this together from the beginning. And uh, I'm gonna try to make the background with mostly just brushes. Now, I will use some overlays also in the end and for some special effects, but we will try to make still the base of brushes and also use brushes in this work as we go along. We start from, from the beginning, right? And we have this background and I want this background to be, be black. So let's do that. We're gonna first, when we make a brush uh, on older versions, the maximum resolution of a brush is 2.5K. So 2,500 and uh, on Adobe CC newer, it's 5,000. Um, I'm gonna use the older version for this example, just because, well, the smaller the brush maximum is, the lesser memory it takes and, well, yeah, this is enough for that. So star brush is this name and white and resolution can be 72 also, but 
let's keep it at 300. I am gonna start by making a black brush and in while using the brush tool. I by the way use a stylus pen and the mouse but uh, working on a tablet of course stylus pen is better but it, you can do all this with a mouse also. Anyway we have we get this indicator right so we can see what we are using. So I am gonna make a simple brush here and it's gonna be just a star so first we're gonna make a point in the middle like so and then I'm gonna make make it smaller and hold shift and while you hold shift press first and then hold shift and press again and you get this streak so press first hold shift and then press again and you get a straight streak and let's do that uh, so we get a storm banner then we're gonna merge these layers and after that edit define brush preset now we can call it star brush and now we have our own brush and you can basically make stars with this okay so let's save this brush and you do that by exporting this selected brush and we're gonna go to brushes and yes I have a lot of brushes but never mind that space and here we already have star brush but we can call this star brush bright I don't know whatever so now we have a predefined brush and let's go back to the document so the next thing is we have our own brush and we can change in this mm, toggle the brush settings panel um, the shape dynamic to size jitter and angle jitter and what this means is okay yeah so we can also put flip X and flip Y either and what this means is it will randomly let's change to white randomly change what it looks like anyway next up let let me show you how to import preset brushes and I will in this artwork only use uh, the kind of brushes that are from the sites that I told you guys to prove that these free brushes are enough. We don't need the paid ones, even though uh, I do like them also. So by holding the B, uh, holding B, B key, you get the brush tool, and then we go at this arrow, and on this gear we have import brushes. Now. Press here and then you import the brushes that you just downloaded from the sites. And so I have this space background brush by Juanes. So how we're gonna use this brush is I'm gonna make it bigger and change the angle a little like this and just tap on the same place once or twice. And then I'm gonna mask out this layer and start to mask away. And now I'm gonna copy this layer and change the hue and saturation to, from it with the help of colorize to a blue color. So after pressing once or twice to get the desired outcome, uh, now we have all these ugly edges, right? And I'm gonna get rid of them by using a layer mask so you can basically find both brushes that are meant to you be used once as a big overlay like this one for example gives that extra oomph to the picture but then there's smaller brushes that you can use as sim single object brushes like like this one for example I'm not gonna use this one but it was just an example anyway there is these tools uh, for the brushes other than size uh, you can also change uh, narrow how, how narrow they are uh, and in what direction they point if I want to make a narrow planet for example and now it's the same brush but it makes this narrow thing that doesn't look good but still you can do that. Anyway, we will go to the next step. And 
the star brushes that I used, uh, I used white as the base color and then hue and saturation that we changed the color. Uh, when you do it like that, you can basically use use the hue and saturation uh, and change however you want the colors, wherever you want. Here we have these Praetor brushes. By pressing X, you switch between black and white and just gonna add some craters here, over here. Mm. I'm gonna change this to be more accurate to the form of the moon. Could actually take a color from the moon surface by holding Alt key and pressing the left mouse button. Eye brush, I think it was called eye in the moon brushes. Yeah, and um, by making it a little more narrow with the help of this and then add a little white to it, huh? Right? Yeah, I think that's good. And then I'm gonna make a little smaller one and make it black. So now we have the crater that we had made uh, on the moon. So the moon had craters already, but now we made one more. And uh, I'm gonna make this uh, smart object and just copy it once more by holding Alt and dragging. I chose to do this masking of me not so crisp. And the reason why is because next thing you can do with the brush is using hard brushes, you also mask out better. show you still uh, a few more tips in how to use brushes. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show in this brush tutorial what you can do with brushes are special effects. So we have fog brush over here. We're gonna make a layer above every other layer except this last one that I had that is the edge highlight or the rim light for for my visir, visire. So we're gonna add underneath it with this fog brush a little fog inside my helmet. So what you can do with brushes also are special effects, different special effects. And that's what we're doing now. Just a little so, so it looks like the visire is foggy. So guys, smoke brushes are something that you can use and it's super easy. And uh, we have these pipes over here and I'm adding two puffs of smoke like this. And then I have my actual exhausts to the motorcycle and here I also added a little smoke. Now, how am I doing this? I just take the brush see that it's in the right angle and press on the mouse button once and that's it um i am gonna mask out what i don't want anyway uh that's one neat trick you can do with brushes
Okay, so yeah, uh, this was the Rush tutorial and I hope that uh, you find it helpful and that you learn something from it. Um, I'm gonna finish this piece up in a time lapse doing highlights and shadows and using overlays and all, all the other stuff that we've learned in uh, the previous tutorials. If you haven't seen them yet, check out the card in and uh, I'm Double Art Angel and I think we should now just enjoy this beautiful piano and string music that I found as a background. Anyway, I see you in the next one.